everybody, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'm going to do another painting today. Uh, it's going to be another 16 by 20 canvas, and this is all Liquitex products, and we are going to be doing a colander pour. So, <clears throat> I have chosen all Liquitex. My base color is uh, Bioxanine Purple, <clears throat> and my five colors uh, Fluorescent Pink, I have Payne's Gray. I have uh, Alizarin Crimson Hue uh, Permanent, a Lime Green, and a Brilliant Blue. Those are my colors. Um, to those colors, I have mixed in my Iridescent Medium. Um, that is three to one on my paints, and um, probably about, it's, I'd say probably about 30 um, ounces of the Iridescent Medium per color and then water to consistency. Now we're doing a colander pour so I'll keep my paint, uh, my color paints a little bit thicker because I want them to uh, stay inside. So, let's set this right down in the middle. Okay, and I'm going to bring it down so we can see what's going on. All right, you can see how really brilliant that uh, dioxanine purple is for a base color. So we shall see how this is going to work. Okay, so we're going to start off with a clean cup, and we're going to layer our colors. We're going to start off with Payne Gray. Notice that I'm pouring it here on the edge. I'm going to do that with all of my colors so that I do not um, create too much of a uh, the gravity fall which will um, make it fall the paints fall um, into the other paint faster than what it should if it's a heavier pigment so we're just going to layer this up You could really see those layers really starting to happen. Okay, finish it off. this in and circle it around just like a ring pour. Okay. Look at those layers. Perfect layers. Couldn't ask for anything better. Now I 
always get a paper plate when I do these so that when you lift it up you can stick the paper plate underneath and it doesn't uh, drip all over the place. Because if you do it right, all of your paint should be in the middle of the colander and nowhere else. So let's lift this up gentle. We're going to let it finish draining. And boom. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to uh, pull some of that purple into. spin see if we can't get this to loosen up actually hold on one second we're going to torch this first metal a little bit. did not come out as I expected but it came out still it came out very nice these colors are really really popping
not too happy with that center piece, so I'm trying to uh, get it to come off the side. Let that paint just flow off. As you can see there it is. I'm okay with that. I don't want to take too much. I don't want to stretch it too much, but man, those those colors are really working well together. I'll bring you in for a closer look here so you can see these colors popping. Extraordinary how these, uh, how well these colors work together. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm hmm. All right, go back up. All right, guys. Hey. Thanks for joining me again um, what's, and checking out this video and I wanted to make sure that uh, everybody enjoyed it so leave me a comment tell me what you thought of it um, and see if there's any adjustments that uh, you'd be wanting to see and down a little bit there we go and I apologize about not posting anything last week I was a little under the weather um, and I just was not feeling very good at all so but we're all better now and we're going to take it from here and we're going to strive on push on and we are going to pour on have a good day thank you